papa. Kom met mij. We moeten samen rusten, papa. Kom, papa. Laat mij. As we were working on the film, trying to decide what's the photographic look, what I what I didn't want was the kind of bright color, upscale, well-lit things that we had been getting in the Hammer films. But I wanted something a lot darker, a lot murkier, and headed not black and white, but so that you, you felt the color, but as you say, desaturated, and desaturated quite a bit. Now, you could, at some point in the past, do that in the film lab. You could desaturate the film, but the film industry has stopped using those techniques and all of that machinery had literally been sold to China. So unless we had, and at that point there was no going to China to do it, access to that machinery, we were kind of stuck. So I tried desaturating it and that didn't seem to work. So instead we went for a very warm kind of look, a kind of a, a bit, almost a golden kind of look went the other way. And some years later, technology in, in, in video and digital uh, was able to allow us to selectively take colors out. And we could leave colors that we wanted a little bit or a lot. So we had a sense of flesh tones, but in the production design, everything was done in blacks, whites, and grays. The, all the costumes are in blacks, whites, and grays. And, and the, the sets were muted in that particular way. So us cleverly, selectively desaturating the color made it easy because we didn't have to take too much because the background would all just fall into line almost automatically. So we now have these two versions and I have gotten angry letters from people saying, why did you make it all desaturated? And why did you make it almost look black and white? I like the color version and then people who think the other way. So they're able to have their choice of which they like and uh, you know, look, look back and forth.